<clears throat> hey guys, listen, what up? I'm back. I'm back, Dr. Heavenly here, listen. And I know, you know, uh, a lot of people looking for me to do the, the, the shady stuff and about the shows and stuff like that. And that has a place. But um, I think I'm going to change my tune just a little bit. Y'all tell my bo boopies. Y'all tell me if y'all with me or not. But um, I got to figure out a way to put some positive messages out there. I feel like we put enough stuff out there. And, you know, at this point, I always said, um, you know, I throw an MF out there so the ignorant people hear me. Hey, y'all, I can see y'all now, and I'm so happy I can see y'all now. Hey, uh, Nita, I can see you. Yes, Kia, I can see you. Yes, I can see you, baby. I can see you. Um, I just did a vlog earlier, and it was the start of a series. I said on my Instagram, y'all make sure y'all follow me, dr underscore heavenly, is don't be a hoe. Oh, no, you know what? Better yet, be a hoe. Be a good hoe and sell yourself. Don't sell yourself short, but sell yourself for everything you're worth. This is what this is about, selling yourself for everything you're worth. So this is going to be about motivation, y'all. It's going to be about business, money, and relationships. And like I say, I preface it here. I made all the mistakes in the world, right? But I made some good damn decisions as well. So I've made millions. I've lost millions. I've made millions again. So I think I'm, you know, as somebody said in a relationship, well, I ain't never failed at a relationship, so I don't know. But I was saying a lot of people can tell you what to do when they're in a great relationship. And then they say some people can tell you what they, what not to do when they divorce, right? I feel like with business and money, I've done so many of them. I can tell you I failed at many I've succeeded at many, so I am very qualified to talk about it. But also, I feel like I'm qualified to talk about relationships, too. Because I say don't talk to nobody who telling you how to get a man or how to have a great relationship if they not doing it because the shit don't work, obviously. And I ain't going to cuss because I said I wasn't going to cuss. I said this is made for kids now, so we can't be cussing, okay? So we can't do that, okay? So this is the this session on... Don't sell yourself short, okay? I started out saying, be a hoe. If you're going to be a hoe, sell yourself a top dollar of what you want to do. And this is a motivational part of it. And we talked before about the four key things. And you can go back to look at my last video. Four things is about getting good sleep, eating right, exercising, and you got to want it. Now, that's the top four things from the very beginning. Anybody in the world could tell you that. That's what you got to do. You got to eat right. You got to exercise. You got to want it, right? And you got, and you shoot, and you got to talk about it, really. So you got to eat right, exercise, right? And you got to get good rest. That's it, boo. That's one of the things. Now, the second thing is you got to believe in yourself. You got to believe you can do anything. And that's my next session talking about you got to find your God. I'm telling you, y'all, y'all say I be cussing. I'm telling you, the only way you can make it in this world, and we talked about this earlier on one of my other vlogs, they took prayer out of school. They took prayer out of school. Now, back when I was in school, we used to pray. We used to either, at least had a moment of silence to pray. Um, I don't know what they do in schools now, but they definitely have taken prayer out, and I think that that has been one of the issues why kids today cannot they can't do what we can do. They're not as strong as we are. I mean, you know, when I say they can't, I'm speaking generally because we talk about statistics. If you look at kids today, and I got three of them brother tuckers, they're not as strong as we used to be. And I think the reason for that is my next thing I was saying is you got to want it and you got to believe in yourself, right? Because anything you do, you know you're going to have some problems, right? Anything you do. And I'm going to tell you one thing. I've been in dentistry 23 years, 23, I'm not telling my age, 23 years, and any problem you think you could have, anything you think could go wrong, I've been through it, right? And a lot of people were saying, well, Dr. Heavenly, why would you open those practices? You know them white folk don't want, and I'm going to tell you, racism is real, but it ain't always real. It ain't nothing about race. A lot of things is about culture, but it's not about race. What, what if this happened? Suppose this go wrong. Suppose this have people, and you know, and I'm going to tell you the truth. This ain't my friends telling me this. This is my family, my mama, telling me, well, you know, you can't do that because you know if this go wrong, this is what's going to happen. And what if this and what if that? And I would honestly say I think that I've been through everything that I could possibly been through. And I can give you some examples. Um, My first commercial property I bought. I didn't know nothing. I was wet behind the ears, green. I did not have my real estate license at that point. And I bought a property. 
And at that time, it was a lot of money to me. When I first got out of school, I think the property was like $350,000, something like that. It's all in my book. I didn't have these business prescriptions. I bought a property, I think it was three fifty. dollars Soon as I bought the dang thing, the roof fell in. Now, when you buy a property, do you think the roof going to fall in? And then I was like, my insurance company denied the claim. I'm telling you, I've been through everything. And it's like, what if, what if? Suppose you get sued. Suppose this happened. And I don't even like to speak stuff into existence. But I'm going to tell you, I've been through everything. And I'm going to tell you a secret about business. I'm going to tell you a secret about life. I'm going to tell you a secret about everything, money. Anything you go through. It ain't that bad. It, it's not that bad. I mean, you can make it bad by your responses to it. But if you got God, I'm going back to prayer in school and praying before you start work every day and praying in your life. If you leave all your, your cares and your worries on God, you don't never have no problem. That's how you get successful because that's why these kids need these pills and they ADD. And, they, and you know, I ain't talking about nobody. I'm just saying in general. My, my preacher said, I said before, my preacher said, Harriet Tubman didn't have no Prozac. She didn't have no antidepressants and all that. We put our trust in God, and I think that's the problem with a lot of businesses. We're talking about business. I ain't going to preach for y'all, but I'm telling you, if y'all bring prayer back, find your God. And a lot of people say, well, heavenly, suppose God ain't real. Now, in my life, that's taboo. That's blasphemy. I believe in God with all my heart and soul. But even if you don't, you got to believe in something. Because if you don't believe in anything, what the hell are you living for? Do you honestly think that this universe came together like it did? Help hazardly like it just... Things don't come together. They fall apart. Hey, Dantes, Brian, how you feeling today? Things fall apart. If you look at anything, if you leave a piece of cheese, do you think it's going to grow and, and become developed and, and have a brain and a heart and start functioning? No! things go to destruction they don't come together so if you don't think there's no, any kind of god you just stupid that's in my thing and you know i ain't calling you stupid but you are you got to know it's some kind of and now people say the universe i tell you one thing you cannot disprove that there's a god because of so many things and i could tell you some things that have happened in my life that i can tell you that god has really touched my heart and, and you know i ain't promoting no book i really ain't but i got a book here listen this book is on amazon and i was reading the other day that's what inspired me to do these videos is that god has worked some miracles in my life and i know god is real because i talk to him all the time and i remember one time when i before i brought my first practice in jonesboro georgia i prayed to god and i said god if i'm supposed to do this Tell me, Lord, I, I, I don't know what to do, you know, and I, I said, well, God, if you just talk to me just a little bit, just tell me. And it got to be plain because, you know, I have a dream and then I, I chalk it up to like, hey, you know what? That was a dream and it wasn't real. So, God, if you're going to tell me, it's got to be plain. It's got to be while I'm awoke, awoke and you got to tell me, you know, plainly if you want me to do this, if you want me to start this business or not, Lord. It just so happened I was um, going to Miami to see my mama. And I was driving to Miami, and I don't know where my kids were. Did I have, I must have didn't have kids. Well, yeah, I had one, but I guess I left um, little um, buddy Damon, little Damon Jr. With his, with his dad. So I remember driving to Miami by myself, and um, I prayed the whole way. I said, Lord, if you want me to do this, you need to show me a, show me a sign, Lord. You need to show me a sign. And I'm telling you how real God is, and I'm just a regular brother Tucker. Y'all know I, I I cuss and I ain't perfect and I ain't a holy roller, but I one thing I do do is I believe, right? And I prayed the whole way and I said, Lord, just give me a sign. And when I got to Miami, long story short, when I got to Miami, my mama was cooking for Christmas or, or Thanksgiving. And um she said, Let's go to a food line. I think it was food line, one of those 24-hour grocery stores. And um it was like 2 o'clock in the morning when I got there. She said, let's go to the grocery store. I got to get some more stuff for, for Christmas. I went to the grocery store with my mom. And I'm there. I'm tired. I don't even want to go. I'm like, dang, I don't want to go to no dang grocery store. I done drove all this way. But I went because, you know, I, you know, <laughs> spare the rides for the child. My mom used to beat the hell out of me. So I always did what she said. I went to the grocery store. And I can remember like it was yesterday because it's true, true, true. And y'all know I don't be lying. I mean, I might forget some stuff, but I don't be lying. A lady came to me in the grocery store. She said to me, um, 
have you been praying about something? And I was thinking, like, who this, you know, who the, who the is this? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Who is this? <laughs> and she said, you've been praying about something, and God told me to tell you I'm a prophet. And she said, you want to start a business? God is telling me right now to tell you is go, go ahead and start that business. And I got scared. Why do you get scared when you pray for something and then the God give it to you? I got scared. And so... I started that business, that business was a multi-million dollar business, it did really, really well. And I'm going to tell you another story right quick, and we're going to see how it work out. But this was a different profit, but I ain't even going in there. But um, yeah, so God told me to start that business, I did, and it was a multi-million dollar business. And when, from that, I know that God is real. He comes and he talks to me in different ways, and now I can trust my dreams. When I dream something or somebody tells me something, something confirms what I want to do. Okay. Hey, Boopy, how you doing? LV Carter, how y'all doing? Okay. So we're getting back to business. Okay. Business that we were talking about the four things. We said it before. You got to eat right. Get that green vegetables in. The kale, that spinach, that's so important. You got to get your rest. You got to rest eight hours a day. And the best time is between 6 a.m. and 10 p.m. Y'all can do what y'all want to. Y'all can meditate, whatever y'all want to. Some people say they get up at four. If it works for you, it works for you. But I'm telling you, the best time to go to bed is 10 p.m. and get up at 6 a.m. You up before anybody anyway. You got a whole hour to meditate. And we talked about exercise. Exercise is so important. Like I said, I don't know if it's the corona or something just get old, but you get tired. If you don't do these things and eat right, you can tell exactly how you feel the day before by what you ate the day before, the, or a couple of days before. So eat right, exercise, and get your rest. Listen, so I'm going to tell you in business and in the world and relationships, you can get whatever you want in life by just trying real hard because the average person ain't even trying. 80% of the population ain't even trying. So in business, all you got to do is find somebody that you you, you see what you're doing, right? And, and find somebody who's very, very uh, successful at doing whatever you want to do, whatever it is. If you want to sell hair, right? Find a top dog in selling hair, the top dog in beauty supply, right? Find them on social media. Google it. They on YouTube. YouTube is a great outlet right here to find information, right? If you want to see how the best websites are, Look at Oprah's website. Hell, if you want to be a motivational speaker, look at Tony Robbins' website. Look at look at uh, Les, Ro Les Brown's website. Heavenly, do you believe in paying time? Absolutely. Now, I ain't saying now, I ain't saying that I always give it to the church, but I dang sure give back. I dang sure give back way more than 10% because giving back is what makes you get more. Being grateful is what makes you get more. I'm telling you, being humble, being grateful, and... A lot of people think that when I speak, I'm brag. I ain't bragging. I never brag. I am so humble and thankful for everything that God has done for me. But yeah, pay your tithes if you feel comfortable. You know what I mean? And you ain't even got to feel comfortable with your preacher because it ain't even for your preacher. It's for the church and keeping the lights on in the church. But I pay my tithes in other ways. Honestly, I pay it by giving back. Y'all know I'm doing a free dental makeover. I haven't talked about it in a while because so many people been blowing up my damn phone and my, and my inbox and stuff. I got so many people that need some dental work. Hell, I don't even know who to pick. But y'all still get at me. I'm going to post it one more time. But I'm going to do a free dental makeover. Y'all don't come to my dang office with this. Do not call my office. Y'all make it so people don't even want to do stuff. But anyway, I'm on a positive tip. Find God. Put all your worries on the Lord. Give back. Right? We talked about that. But, um... And we're going to talk about marketing. My next video is going to be marketing, okay? That's a part, big part of my book, right? And then we're going to talk about saving, okay? But the main thing is eating right, exercise, get, get, um, get your rest, and find your God. Find your God. You got to put some. I mean, when you've done all you can do, don't be lazy. Don't say, hey, God going to bring me a man or God going to save my business. Or God. You got to work like you never worked before. You got to work for free. We had a big thing and I was on Wendy Williams talking about me because I said work for free. If you got your own business, you know you're working for free for a while. Usually they say three to five years it takes to build a business. But if you love something, I'm telling you, you could build a business quicker than that. You really just can. Um, and I can talk specific numbers, but I don't be wanting to brag. So I try not to give my specific numbers because um, amazing God is. God is amazing. But basically, I just want to help somebody. If y'all got any questions, I'm going to do Dr. Heavenly University. 
and it's basically catered towards dentists and if you know anything about business is that the best thing you can do is specialize specialize in one thing market one thing and be the best at that one thing so initially and i may open it up to the public but initially i want dr heavenly university to help dentists because i've opened nine dental pra 10 dental practices the one i'm in nine dental practices i've sold seven successful dental practices multi-million dollar i know how to do that y'all i can't tell y'all not to do no hair this is a learning process for me and i don't need to know how to do it it ain't but three really big manufacturers in china right all i had the same all I had to say, now it's a lot of vendors. You can go over there, it's the hundreds of vendors. You don't even know who to buy the hair from, but it's the same freaking hair. So that right there is you don't really have to know what you're doing to do that. I mean, as far as like the pictures and making my hair look good, I think I can do better with that. But I'm saying the has, 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 hair. So if you want to buy it from me, buy it from somebody else. I try to buy it in bulk so I can sell it for cheaper. But uh, my hair, I'd be buying the good hair. Maybe I should get the mediocre or the cheap 9A hair. I'm learning about it. But anyway... Find your God, put all your cares and worries on God and work your tail off and don't worry about what could or would or should or. Don't listen to mama them. Don't listen to mama them because mama them will have you scared as hell and not do anything because they afraid. And I'm going to talk about buying a home because it's old school now to pay your home off. That's old school, right? That's old school mentality. I'm, I'm going to say that for the next one. But anyway, this one here is not about what I talked about on my first one. Don't I talked about being a great hoe, right? In order to be a great, great hoe, you got to be on top of your game to sell yourself for the most amount of money. You got to be on top of your game. And the only way you can do that is I started out the first three things. Eat right, exercise, get your rest. Today, I'm telling you, you got to find your God. You got to find your God and stick with him. Put all your cares and worries on the Lord. Pray, meditate, do whatever you want to do, whatever you need to do to make it right. Because if you don't, you're going you're gonna to give up. You're going to give up when things get hard. You're going to be like, hell, I can't do this. But if you do it and you love what you're doing and you say anything that goes wrong, hey, my God got me. I know I'm going to be all right. You can do anything in this world. Find that man. Ask God. Got to get you that man. Write it down. Take a picture. Read about it and tell you what to do. Hey, Heavenly, studying for boys or RN. You got it, girl. All you do is visualize yourself passing. You want to be an RN? That's a great thing. All you do is see, keep saying it, saying it over and over. A lot of people are, and I know I said this video only supposed to be 15 minutes, but I can talk forever. A lot of people are, like, like you know, I ain't talking about nobody, but I'm saying like Quad. Quad does stuff, but she holds it to her chest and she never tells anybody what she's doing until she's doing it. My belief is to put it out there. If you finna do Dr. Heavenly University, if you want to be an RN, if you want to do whatever, now you're going to have haters and naysayers. And I'm going to tell you once again, don't hang around people that say negative stuff around you. Don't even be around them. But what I'm saying is when you put it out there, it makes yourself accountable and it makes people make you accountable. Say, hey, you know what? I thought you was going to school to be an RN. Now you don't want to be embarrassed. You want to be embarrassed, right? So I'm telling you, if you put it out there, and you tell people what you're doing, you'll make it happen. It'll make it happen. And that's the second video I've been on here, 18 minutes. I'm going to come back because I got one more in me tonight. But I say I'm going to make them between 12 and, and 20 minutes, okay? So this time, I'm telling you, find your God, find your rock, whatever that is, and put your worries on God because you can't do it without him. And if you get in problems, which you're going to have problems when you're in a business, when you're in a relationship, with money, you're going to have problems. But if you can put it in on your God, do all you can and put your trust and words on God and keep moving, that's the key, key to success right there. I see y'all. I'm coming right back. I'm going to download this. It's going to take me about three, four minutes, and I'm going to come right back. But that's the key today. Put your words on God. If you want to be a top hoe, you got to follow these things. If you want to be a top hoe, sell yourself for a top price, you got it. Heavenly, would it be beneficial for dental schools to enroll in your upcoming so freaking lutely in fact i'm going to give dental students a break on the price even if you show me your card i probably will make it free because i want to give this stuff away the only reason i'm charging the dentist is because they need to freaking pay because i done did it they need to pray and when you pay it makes you more apt to come and it makes you more listening to it but dental students i know y'all ain't got no money well y'all probably got money but y'all ain't got no real money i may make it free or i might just cut the price in half for the dental students because i get paid for my sponsors but yes Come, dental students, come because I'm going to teach you what to do from the very beginning and starting to run a successful dental practice. If y'all got some dentists out there, tell them to watch me. I, I don't know. Y'all, I'm, I'm on a different tangent now. I 
really don't want to do that dumb stuff no more. I don't really want to talk about people. I mean, I like talking about people, but I'd rather do the motivational stuff. So if y'all here with me, y'all my true boobies, come with me. I don't know if it's as entertaining, but we can talk about some people sometime. But we all business, money, relationships, and motivating y'all to live the best damn life y'all ever had, okay? So I'll be back. I'm going to come right back. I'm going to download this. I'm going to come right back with part three of being the best hoe you could be, okay? All right, I'll be right back. See how you stop this damn thing. Here we go.